So first, we're going to spray the floor, the whole floor. If you can, you can. Let it sit. The longer it sits, the more it's going to melt through. If you're not sure when to start cleaning, just try a little bit first. It looks like it's starting to come off, but we have no water. Can we get a bucket of water? Do we have a bucket of water? Oh, it's all right. Now, the reason why I did this by hand is so you can see before you get your tools out, your buffer or your magic pad or whatever you're going to use, you want to make sure that you can actually do the job right the first time. So, thank you so much. Can I have that really? And we remove the product. Now this floor feels like it is. It's a very rough floor. Do we have a broom here? Yeah. Okay. Anything hard? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm just going to try something really quick. Okay, we're going to remove the product yet. Wipe it dry. That's what it's going to come out like once we clean the floor with a magic pad. Do we need to spend the money on that? On the pad, they're about $11 each. Do we need to spend the money one? Is there an easier way number two? Let's imagine we had a broom, a big broom. Obviously with a broom, we can get more done, yes? Always water. Okay, let's see if this worked. Remove the product. Now you would remove the product with a wet drop with a wet back or with a, with a mop. I would suggest a wet vac is way more easier. Same, same, yes? So you can choose, do you want to spend money on magic erasers, on a big magic floor mop, and scrub and then remove the product or with the product? Or do you want to soak the whole floor with the greaser, agitate it with a wet broom, remove the product? Now just to make sure, sure, this is a really bad bit just here. So I want to make sure that what I tell you is the truth. You can see I'm agitating all of the all of the holes. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not going over the same thing more than once for a reason, so you can see what I actually need to do. This is so gross, and I should not be doing this without gloves on. This is an emergency situation. Okay, beautiful. So you can see where we were before, where we are now. Now, while we're here, we've got some of these type of floors. These are also rough floors at the same time. Let's try this floor. Actually, we should have left it on for a minute, but it doesn't matter. Now 
obviously with the broom, it's going to be much more efficient. We're just testing to see what we need to do. Okay. I'm just going to remove it with this. How are we looking? Good. Amazing. Yeah? So now you've just avoided spending hundreds of dollars on products you don't need. A big broom, strong broom with strong bristles, a good wet vac so you're not changing water, boiling jugs. Does that make sense? 